You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is an ink from the Birmingham Pen Company. Uh, I don't have a name on this box, at least not one that came from the company. They just throw them in this plain white box. And then on the side, I have used my my label maker and made a little label that says Voltaic Arc Rich Formula, because that's what's in this box of th this box. <laughs> Let's get this box out of here. Uh, inside that box, you have this fun little bottle. It is glass and, uh, you know, 30 mils. Pretty standard size, I think. You can see here on the side, it says, Manufactured and bottled by hand, rich formula fountain pen ink, made in the USA, indeed, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, this is part of the Rich series, which are, sorry, Rich Formula family of inks. It says this ink will pr produce a sheening effect on high quality fountain pen papers like Tomoe River and Rhodia. The writing sample in this listing is produced on Rhodia paper, etc. Rich Formula inks have longer dry time than traditional formula inks, but they'll exhibit a variety of properties unique to the saturated recipe. It says they have like a a, uh, a unique dye vehicle or something. I don't, I don't really know what this thing is made of, man. I don't, I don't know what's in there, but I do know that you can get this in three different sizes. This is the 30 mil and it goes for 13 bucks. You can also get it in 60 or 120 mils if you want a whole bunch of this ink. 120 mils, that's so many inks. So, uh, you know, maybe do that because this is a very good ink. This is, I think, my favorite of the, uh, the current Birmingham Pen Company inks that I have used so far. This rich formula is, I think, ticking my boxes. So, let's look at it on some paper. Here we are on some Rhodia. Now it said in the uh, in the the advertising copy that this is uh, good on Rhodia, and they're not lying. It's real good on Rhodia. Look at this fun sheen. It's one of those kind of super sheener inks. Although the swatch up here definitely shows more blue than you get in the actual text. I think. See there, it is sheening all off of that text, especially up here and really see it there but you can see the base color here which is interesting a lot of times you can't really see the base color in a super sheener didn't bleed through at all which is nice also i think this rhodia is more standard rhodia quality than the last pad i was using but uh pretty good now this is my usual 80 grams per square meter paper it is pretty darn good uh good paper to use for fountain pens flow very good unless it dries out i've had it in this pen which is a birmingham pen company pen did i write down what this thing was uh, nope, don't actually know. But this is a model that Birmingham Pen Company made. They make these in-house. Uh, one of the dudes there uh, makes pens, and they make ink and stuff there. It is a pretty good pen, although it is very large. And there's a whole lot of room around the nib. So a lot of times inside a cap, you'll see a shelf that sort of meets the end of the section, and that sort of uh, that reduces the air volume around the nib and feed, and it keeps it from drying out. But this doesn't have that, and so I did sort of put this to the side and not use it for a little while and it did dry out on me and I had a heck of a time starting it back up like you I keep a little glass of water to, to dip the nib in but it just really wasn't doing it so I just cleaned off the the feed and the nib and uh, refilled it and, and away we go and it's been fine now you will see there's a little bit of ink in here in the section that's totally normal don't worry about that if this happens to your pen this happens to every pen you just can't usually see it because the section is uh, usually opaque and not translucent. So, uh, this ink flows really well as long as you don't let it dry out. Uh, let's see if it'll squiggle right now. Yeah, there we go. Good squiggles. Uh, no problem. A little bit of a hard start there, but, you know, whatever. I've been waving this around for a little while at this point. So, once you get this dried out in the nib, it you gotta, you gotta clean it. But... Uh, until then, this actually stays really well, um, and it starts up every time, which is nice. It doesn't, um, doesn't, doesn't, uh, dry immediately in the nib. Like some super sheeners will, not naming names, but there are definitely some super sheeners that will not stay on your nib. Like, they just dry out immediately, and it's really hard to use. So, uh, this one has that going for it. It's like, probably the, s my second favorite super sheener, I think? Probably up there. It's definitely... Probably, probably number two-ish. It's not number one, but pretty much number two. Number one is Diamine Skull and Roses. That is a great super sheener. Okay. Uh, so, performance. Some bleed and feather on the 20-pound. Here's the 20-pound copy paper, and there's the line for it. Uh, Birmingham Pin Company's Voltaic Arc Rich Formula. You'll see on the back that uh, you do have some, some bleed through. This is the worst paper you're going to find, though. And most things do bleed through it. There are a few that don't, but, uh, but most of them... Most of them will do some amount of bleeding. It's not it's not egregious though. It's pretty okay. Um, so, you know, it's it's fine. It's not perfect on that kind of paper, but it's fine. You're gonna to wanna to keep it on the good stuff anyway, because then you get this sick sheen. And if you have it on just regular old paper, you're not so much gonna get that. 
Okay. Uh, then, uh, qualities, heavy, sh heavy sheen and saturation, lots of both of those here. And the pen I had it in has a, um, a Nemosyne 0.8 millimeter stub, which I really like these. I have the 0.8 and the 0.6, and I kind of want to buy more. They're not expensive, and they are very nice nibs. Everyone I've used has been great. So check those out. You can also get them from Birmingham Pen Company. That's where I got mine. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of water test here and then uh, look at it on some other papers and look at, um, look at some, uh, some comparisons. Get, uh, come on now. Plunger didn't, there we go. <laughs> oh, now we got more water than we wanted. That's the way it goes. Never rains, but it pours. A little bit of a shimmy. You are going to see a lot of movement here. But that's not unusual in inks like this. You actually see kind of you can see a swirling in the the water blob there which is fun go ahead and blot that up i do think that some stuff is going to stay behind though it is <laughs> nose wants to help i'm going to try not to let him there we go all right so lots of the blue came off the page uh but not all of it <laughs> i knows what do you think about this this ink? Do you like it? Huh? Is it your favorite ink? Okay, well we gotta get down off the we gotta get down off the desk here, bud. Yeah, I'm I'm using this desk. You can have some desk time later. You wanna wanna get down? No? Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> that has been our cat interlude. Okay. So uh quite a lot left behind. You get sort of a I don't know, sort of a grayish color. Left behind there, I guess, kind of green maybe? It's hard to tell because there's blue all over it. And this definitely does smear around. No. <laughs> but, plenty left over, so if you spill your coffee on it, I think you'll be okay. This is the chromatography for this ink. And I think it looks really cool. I actually haven't even looked at it until now. It was just kind of hanging up here in front of my cameras and drying out, and I didn't even look at it. But this looks really good. You get this sort of gray-green down here uh, as a base, and then lots and lots of really nice-looking blue up in here. So good stuff. And this does show sort of what's left behind. A lot of times chromatography will do that for you. It'll tell you. It'll tell you what's going to be left. No blue. Some weird gray-green gray stuff. Okay, let's look at this on, uh, this is Tomoe River in this ink journal. You can probably still get these, at least for a little while, before Tomoe River goes away. And there's the Voltaic Arc. Right there, you can see it sheening, sheening all over the place on that Voltaic Arc. It's got a real nice looking sheen. It's like a, like a purpley red sheen, which is pretty normal, but I think it looks really good against this very dark blue that it's got going on here. We're going to look at a bunch of blue super shaders, and this is, uh, this is an interesting color, I think. I dig it. All right. Then, we have my... Inky Finger is currently inked. This is wheat straw paper. I'm not sure if you can still get these or not, but wheat straw paper is real good stuff if you can get your, hold, your hands on it. Sometimes you can buy it in reams. And you can see here that it doesn't have as much sheen as it does on Tomoe River, perhaps. It definitely looks like more of a blue. And yet, still plenty of sheen being picked up there by the old camera. Doing good. Yeah, it looks good even on this, uh, this paper, which is much more normal. No, <laughs> come on. All right, <laughs> before he attacks again, let's uh, try to look at some uh, some comparisons. All right, so here's the Birmingham Pen Company rich uh, voltaic art rich form voltaic arc rich formula. There we go. I did it. I made the noises with my face. And you can see there's a whole bunch of sheen on here. And look, look at down at this little bit. Nothing but sheen. And actually, on here, it was kind of hard to match things because uh, there's only a little bit of blue up here that I can really pick out. Okay, um, here is another super sheener, which is not terribly close. This is color versus NASA blue, which is a really nice blue, but it's not at all, not at all like this one. Not all blue inks with red sheen are the same, as you can see here. Then I've got here Vinta, uh, what does this say? Um, Maharlika, I think, which is another super sheener. Sailor of 50 States, New York, which is an entirely different blue. Like I said, I didn't really have anything that was exactly the same as this base color here uh, with a heavy sheen, so that's kind of interesting to me. This one, you can see, pops a green sheen, but you don't really see that in, in your normal writing. I, I haven't really been able to make that pop out, which is unfortunate. 
All right, Cat has been exiled from the room for the moment. But he really wants attention right now. And then, Diamine's Polar Glow, which came in the uh, the ink vent in 2019, which was their first ink vent. And I, <clears throat> I hope they bring that back. This does have a similar kind of sheen to it, but you can see the underlying color is much, much lighter on Polar Glow than it is on the uh, Voltaic Arc. And I think that really changes the top sheen there. Even though I think... I think, in reality, that sheen is very similar, especially if you look at these bits down here. Very similar, but that underlying blue is much different. Then we've got Diamine Midnight Hour, which I think is closer in terms of the base color. If you look at the base color here and here, they're very close, I think, but the sheens are entirely different. So this one comes off looking like kind of bronze-ish, whereas this looks purpley red. Neat, right? Then, only two more. <laughs> Diamine Maureen. I picked these up because uh, they are not the same, but they are super sheeners and people might ask about them. Much lighter blue on this one and a more pronounced sheen, I think. And then lastly, uh, what I think is the best super sheener right now, which is Diamine Skull and Roses. Diamine Skull and Roses stays wet in your pen forever. It, it behaves well on paper. You're not going to have it. It's not like smudging all over the place uh, like some super sheeners are wont to do. But uh, I think this is this is slightly superior, but you do have to get it from overseas. Uh, yeah, I believe you have to get it from overseas. Nonetheless, super good ink and worth checking out. But uh, yeah, these are these are some top rank super sheeners. Which ones do I like more? Any of these? Fifty States New York is really good, but that's a whole different kind of thing with that green. I don't know. I I really like Color vs NASA. I think that's as good. That's that's probably at least as good as these other two, but these are some top rank super sheeners here with that blue and red sheen. Even though it's a common combo, uh, you don't uh, you don't see it done this well in general. Uh, if only this worked a little bit better on, you know, kind of normal papers, I, I would be a lot happier with it. But it does do a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of feathering on uh, your crappy coffee paper. It's kind of like it's going to do that, man. It's just not good paper. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Check out uh, Birmingham Pin Company's Voltaic Arc from the Rich Formula uh, family of inks. This is uh, this is pretty good stuff, and at 13 bucks for 30 mils, not a bad price. All right, I will see y'all later on. Like, comment, subscribe, be a patron, all that stuff. Peace out. Hi, Nose. What do you think about this, this ink? Do you like it? Huh? Is it your favorite ink? Okay, well we gotta get down off the we gotta get down off the desk here, bud. Yeah, I'm I'm using this desk. You can have some desk time later. You wanna wanna get down? No? Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> Nose! Come on. Nose. Stop it, bud.